Look, ladies, your romantic night that you've planned with your dude has failed if it doesn't come to completion at the end of the night for your man. False. True. Facts. Fake news. Now, Cassie here and Kristen are going to try to woman explain this for guys. <laughs> when we're telling you that your night of romance, Kristen, you failed on a couple of different levels, actually. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. So I was tasked with uh, bringing the romance to my marriage. Uh, my husband and I got into this friendly debate, and it all started from a cartoon episode of Bluey and about bringing romance to our relationship. And I jokingly, I was like, where's my romance? And he's like, your romance? What are you talking about? I'm the one that stays at home with the kid all day and manages the house and does the cleaning and the laundry and the dishes. You're supposed to romance me. And I was like, huh. <laughs> who is supposed to romance who? I brought it to the Burt Show table, and of course, you flipped the table on me, and everybody <laughs> said that I am the one responsible for romancing my husband. So I took it to heart, and this past weekend, I romanced my husband the best way I knew how. Mm -mm, you knew better. You just chose not to. That's not true. Mm -hmm. I know he loves the World Cup, and he loves watching soccer. I know one thing he likes more than that. Not true. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why did I say that? <laughs> you convincingly, too. He, he's telling on yourself. Right. I'm, I'm like, no, wait a minute. No, what no he I does not. Tell, I was trying to prove my point so hard that I screwed myself <laughs> in the process, but I did it. <laughs> well, at least somebody did. Okay. <laughs> so I, I got us a babysitter. Producer Katie, who happens to be in studio, came over at 9 a.m. to watch our son Jimmy, so he he and I could go out and have fun watching the USA play the Netherlands in the World Cup and enjoy some day drinking. With five other couples. Did not. A after you said that he doesn't like to be distracted when watching the game. He and you were with other couples. You're miss. I'm going to jump in. You're missing the point. The point is her husband said it was romantic. So win, win, win. Yeah, he's saying it's romantic because he's hoping she doesn't make the same mistake again this week, which is shut out. <laughs> why? Wait. Why would he say it's romantic if she doesn't want her to repeat it? Yeah. Say that because he doesn't want her to repeat the same. He's saying, yeah, that's romantic, baby, because he wants her in a good mood. So he finally gets what he really wants out of the romance at the end of the week. Any, okay, anyway, we got to, we had a lovely day, and then somehow, some way, it got brought up whether or not he and I did it, and we didn't, and then therefore, Bert and Mo are like romance nullified because it is not romance unless. It goes all the way, which I completely disagree. I don't think you have to have that portion of it in order for it to be romantic. You can have a beautifully romantic time that doesn't end with that. If the goal, if the definition here is romance, yes, right? Most dudes don't need to be romanced anyway. It's a hard ask. Like, it, honestly, yeah. I felt like I was mission impossible here trying to figure out how to romance my husband. And you all know my husband. How do you romance Bart? We told you, but you <laughs> told you exactly what to do. <laughs> you keep denying us. It's one thing. Right. So we talk about this, and just to give you some of the tweets, at Pace the Engineer, romance not including sex is like a meal not including seasoning. Yay, it's food, but how much did you enjoy it? Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a guy, that's a guy? Yes. Okay. Yes, oh that, that is a man. All right, and so then we had another tweet from at Mona86. Romance doesn't have to always include sex. And we had another tweet from another woman at Fat Girls versus the World. Romance has to be more than just a path to sex. Okay, if you are saying like, hey, we're having date night. Okay, that's one thing. We're going to go out. We're going to have a meal. We're going to connect, right? We're going to talk about what's been going on. I miss you, baby. I miss you. We're so busy. Blah, blah. Date night, one thing. But when you label it as a romantic night, I think most guys are going to equate a romantic night with... Getting some? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but date night, date night's romantic, though. Yeah. Like, that's the whole yeah. point. Like, yes, it, it would be a, the icing on the cake. Yes, it's like a fine wine with dinner. But it's romance is about the emotional feeling. There's a difference between sexual attraction and romantic attraction. And they go hand in hand. And both are very important. But they're two different things. Yeah, they're just spoken like a person that has uh, two boobs and a vagina. <laughs> You guys yeah. treat it like it's so transactional. It's so weird. Like, Bart has to be nice to her to get her to open the door. It's part of being, when you're in a romantic, loving couple like that, and you have that good emotional connection, that comes along with it. 
Okay, we're talking about men-women relationships mm-hmm. here. Katie, I'm very glad you are in studio. So when it comes to bringing the romance to a lesbian relationship, does it have to end in intimacy? Or no. C- yeah, okay. It doesn't have to end in intimacy. It, in a nice okay, so can two things be true, right? Like, if you are a woman, that's wonderful. That is your idea of romance. So if a man is romancing a woman, then he has that in the back of his mind. If this does not have to end with the icing on the cake, it can just be a dry cake. Fine. <laughs> but if you are romancing a man, that's what men want. So therefore, uh. if the goal is to romance a man, then you need the icing on the cake. And right. it's not romance, though. That's to the what I'm man, saying. Saying, but it's not it about. Is. It's what they're saying is to Merriam-Webster and the dictionary's <laughs> definition. You're not talking to two dictionaries here. You're talking <laughs> yeah, to two yeah, D's. Yeah. 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 Just the dictionary. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that is, and now I understand because I was going. I was really about to get peeved about you saying we were women explaining, but you're talking about what romance means to a man. Yes. yes. And as men, you're saying if I'm going to be romanced, you got to give up the goodies. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, the pasta ain't gonna cut it. That's it's just not good. enough for me. That's that's a man's entire idea of romance. There, there you, what? I Literally. don't. I don't believe that is all men because what you're saying is the only most men. Can most we, men. Have to nothing is all. Then, all right. Then most. you're only saying women are just good for okay. the physical goodies, and you don't want to spend time with us romantically in any other capacity unless not, it ends in something physical. That. You're not listening. Not at all. You're saying that. not well, listening. Not at all. I'm listening. Explain it differently. Then explain it to me like. Okay. I'm a super dumb woman who has two boobs and vagina. <laughs> I don't think you're a super dumb woman. Um, I just think that you're, you can't take it from a man's perspective because you're not one. I actually think you're too smart for this conversation. For sure. You should leave the room. No. <laughs> <laughs> I really think, like, you, I, lo- I love you because, like, it can be a very black and white conversation, but you want to put a whole lot of gray in it. And uh, so what Coming from the complication queen. Yeah, that, I know, trust me, that is, that is not lost on me. If I, you're going to label it romance, most guys are going to assume that romance is going to equate to something physical. Romancing a man. Yes. If I am attempting to romance romance a man, yes. what the men are saying is it's got to end in some fireworks. In fact, if I'm putting a romantic day and night together for Tiffany, I'm not even putting it together thinking that that might happen at the end of the night. However, if she's putting one together for me, she knows that that will be my, that's my version, my definition, a man's definition, mostly of romance. So it's not an expectation across the board. It's just the wish list and for your wants to be fulfilled that would need to happen. Correct. But right. like if you're doing it for the woman in your life, it's not an expectation. Mm-hmm. Correct. Right. It's not an everyday thing. Like uh, other days, you, of course, like you care about all the other things. But if you say to a man, tonight is your night. I am going to romance mm-hmm. you tonight. His mind is immediately going to the icing on the cake. Right. All right. All right. You're looking for connection. Can you're I- looking for emotion. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, you're looking for appreciation. Correct. Yes. Dudes are physical that's our that's our language all right may i ask for a romance mulligan yes all right so i will try to romance my husband and do it the right way (laughs) without other people okay with (laughs) without involving other people so it'll be one-on-one and ending with me Giving them the good. Well, you don't have to. You're not supposed to say it like that. Oh, you don't have to ruin the romance. It's <laughs> gone. The romance no, don't get is gone. Wrong. You're talking about it like it's something that must be done. Oh, That's yes. what you're making it feel like, if though. If you are going to label it as a romantic <laughs> night, yes. it can't come with, oh, and okay, and Fine. I'll do that at the end. And listen, I love giving the goodies to my man. He's very good at receiving them, okay? Like, so there. that's a non issue. I think for my, for my, in my, for my mentality, I hate feeling like I'm forced to do something. You know what I mean? Like in order for it to be romantic, I have to do this. That's my hang up. And that's a, that's a, my own mindset hang up that I have to get over. You so nailed that, it. That's exactly where I'm coming from is now I don't feel like I have a choice. Yes. And I'm forced to do something and it takes all the enjoyment out of it. <laughs> for it to be for it to be deemed romantic. Well, doesn't that go the other way also? Yes, like it, does it, a lot. it would go the other way also. So like your definition of romance or Tiffany's might be Lighting candles, taking her out to dinner, whatever. So if I was taking your attitude, it would be like, well, 
God, that's what she considers romance? That's not what I consider. Now I'm feeling forced into doing what she wants for romance. You can't exactly. compare the two. Why can't Why not? you? Because one's a physical thing and letting somebody into my body yeah. and the other one is like an act, like lighting a candle. They're the, not the, the same. The value is the same for dudes no. and for women. No. no. Yes. You not can't letting, compare the no, two. No, that's the, I, I'm with Cassie on this. Those are two, you're comparing apples and oranges. You're comparing bananas and peaches. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, good boy. Ashley, good morning. You're on the Bircha. Good morning. My husband and I have been together for 20 years, and let me just tell you that it, Bert and Mo, you're 100% right. It is a physical and emotional connection for men. It just is. So to end a romantic night, I want to end it with that because I know that that is that physical and emotional connection for my husband. Boom. Okay. Speak his love language. That's why they tell you to always know your partner's love language. It, that is a man's love language. His love language is my booty. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. That. Yes. yes, it is. Exactly that. <laughs> hey, family, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Hi. Good morning, guys. I love you so much. I couldn't wait to comment on this conversation. Um, I want to say that I agree 150% with Bert and Mo on this particular case. Um, just like the previous caller, I've also been married. 20 years, and over these past 10 years, I've learned to see our marriage um, more from my husband's perspective and not just my perspective. And speaking to the two new moms, I understand that you may think I've got so much going on mm -hmm. and sex is the last thing on my mind, mm -hmm. but trust me, your husband values that. Men are very physical creatures, and um, it's not emotional so much for them. It becomes emotional when they connect with us in that manner. In that physical um, manner. So don't think of, yeah, don't think of it as transactional. Okay. Start thinking of it as your way to care for him in the way that he values, not just what you value. All right. That's Boom. a good call right Ooh. there. All right. It All is. right. All right. Hold I'm on. see I'm listening. I'm receiving. Let, I'm receiving. And me, I'm gonna make sure my husband receives too. Let me put a, <laughs> let me put anomaly on. Hey anomaly, good morning. You're on the birth show. Hey Nick. Yep. Hey, hey, is this is this Bert? Yeah. Yeah, is this uh, Nick? Hey, Nick. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, hey. Glad, glad do I get through. Yeah, I was just trying to uh, articulate, you know, when it comes to romance, it's about the other person. You know, they had the comment that the females feel like having to go down the physical road isn't the same as us having to do the more romantical candlelit dinner type thing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you have to take yourself out of the equation when you want to romance someone. It's nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Boom. There you have it. Boom. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'll give it up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop saying it like that. <laughs> Was the story that you told us off the air the other day, did that happen on Romance Night? Yeah. Oh, Kristen. <laughs> Can I share it? No. Kristen. He didn't even showed you. <laughs> You're the worst. I know. I'm horrible. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? You can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.